yet. It's called Six Days on Earth. All right. Uh, and it's uh, it's an Italian film that came out this summer, and uh, they're preparing it now for release in the United States, or in the rest of the world, actually. Rob, thank, right. thank you for your call. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Number to call, 50... What were you saying, Greg? No, I just wanted to, uh, to a couple of uh, some, some robo, robo plugs, but uh, go ahead and make yours first. No, go ahead and make a robo plug. <laughs> tell, us, <laughs> tell us some more about Robotech. Now, is there going to be the live action film? I heard Jake Gyllenhaal who, or somebody. Who's going to be uh, cast yeah. as. Toby McGuire. Who is? Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire is going to be in it. Yeah, well, he, he uh, got the rights. That live action is in development at Warner Brothers. Uh, they've had a number of writers attached to it. And, Including Larry Kasdan, uh, there is no director as yet, uh, but it, it, it's being developed now. Wow! Yeah. We'll and we'll be... the, sorry, sorry. Oh, go ahead. I said, and so it'll probably be released what in the next year or two? I uh, can't say. Don't know. I don't know at, at what point it, it is in its development, but it is moving ahead. Okay. Uh, I know we're all looking forward to, to seeing it. Um, I just wanted to mention for the for the fans that the complete series DVD box is available from uh, A and E. It's the entire eighty-five remastered series, all the episodes remastered, lot clearer. It's got the Sentinels in it as well in that same collection, with of course me as Doctor Lang. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's got the 86 uh, Robotech movie with me as B.D. Andrews. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and it's got just about everything. It does not have Megazone 2, 3 because they couldn't get the rights to it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, Greg, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more. We really love having you on the show tonight. Greg Snegoff's with us. Uh, give us a call, 503-417-9595 or 1-877-733-1011. Fascinating show tonight. Be a part of it. We'll uh, be back in just a minute. FM News 101 KXL. This is Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. Weeknights at 9, only on KXL. Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. Fascinating stuff tonight on Ground Zero. Discussing everything from alien wars to the attachment of alien beings maybe piggybacking on us from another dimension. And this is something that I I have been hearing about and reading about, but uh, never has anyone else talked about it. Uh, We've hinted at it a bit with this whole exorcism thing that's been happening. Souls, if you will, attaching themselves to us. No need for being born. They just find their way to us and they attach themselves. And yet, if we open ourselves to a spirit or a spirit guide that is from that dimension, we most simply are capable of reading it and understanding it. That's why a lot of people now finally find themselves having second sight. 2012 is coming. They see it. They realize that time itself is changing, that it's all going to be culminating when we align ourselves with Galactic Central Point coming in December. It's not the end of the world. It's the idea that everything that we know or we think we know, will all change. And this is something that I've been trying to explain. A lot of people will come to me, I I can promise you, a lot of people will come to me after 2012, uh, December 21st, 2012, and they'll say, you see, the world didn't end, Clyde. And I'll go, well, no kidding. I'm married now, and and I know the world's not ending. Because I know that times are going to change. But I do know that it gets bumpy along the way because the magnetic shifts and all of the things that are happening, in fact, they're finally admitting in the news, they're finally admitting a number of things about time, and they're admitting a number of things about the magnetic shifts on the planet. And, and the truth is is that I don't have enough, enough time tonight to cover those things. Maybe I'll get into it a little bit after the, after the top of the hour, um, because uh, coming up, uh, you know, we, we have another guest coming on the show. But it just, we're, we're going to be uh, bringing on uh, Fiorella uh, Campuano, who, uh, of course, is... Uh, involved with the Mayan prophecy and things of that nature in 2012. We're going to bring back Greg for just a short time, get to some calls uh, just for a second here. Let's go to Mojo. Mojo, hi, you're on Ground Zero. You're right against the clock. Uh, uh, ask Greg a question, please. Hey, Clyde, thanks for taking my call. Hey, Greg. Uh, yeah. Could, could all this stuff tie into the uh, the hollow earth theory, sir? And, and, and is there any way to kind of tap into that kind of perspective? 
Uh, I personally don't have a lot of information on it. I've seen something uh, that's really interesting. Um, the, unfortunately, a, a hellish amount of interesting stuff <laughs> to yeah, look into. The Vail Society, and then there's the, the Tool Society, and or Tule, or however they pronounce that. But I just, I, I you know, it always makes me wonder the Aurora Borealis and and how we don't see certain satellite orbits. You know, publicly and all that kind of stuff. So, well, the the uh, the, the aurora borealis is uh, that's a naturally occurring phenomenon. What you're seeing now, more and more and more and more, is uh, the aurora borealis is descending way further south. In in the sense, it's it's visible uh much, much, much further south and in areas where it's never been visible before. And that's part of what's called, uh, it's, a, it's a result of what's called a geo um, a geochemical combustion. It's literally, it throws off excess energy. Uh, and that's a result of the, the, the action of what's called the technosphere, which is sort of the sum of all technological activity uh, on the planet, and so it's you're seeing a lot of um, energetic phenomena that we've never seen before. Mojo, thank you for the call, buddy. Good call. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to set you free, Greg. I know that uh, we have uh, Fiorella Capuano coming on the show in just a bit, but we really appreciate you and your work with Robotech and your thoughts of what's going on. Some very interesting thoughts. I think you've prompted a lot of thought tonight. I'm very happy to have done so, and you're not going to get rid of me that quickly because I'm probably going to be translating for Fiorella. Oh, okay, sure, because she speaks Italian, right? Yeah, she speaks some English and some and uh, certain things she can't through, get through in English. She'll say in Italian. All right, we'll stay on the line with us. We'll bring her on, and it'll be a very interesting show having you both together on the program. Coming up on Ground Zero, talking more about 